fun drinking games for two people. Who is your drinking buddy? The first name that came out to your mind is your drinking buddy. Can't think of anyone? No worries. Today's video is for those who have drinking buddies already and of course for once want to find a cool drinking buddy. Okay. We will talk about 14 amazing drinking games that you can try with two people anywhere, anytime. A friendly reminder, if you're new to the BarGames101.com YouTube channel, click on the red subscribe button below and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified about our fantastic upcoming videos in return. Now to the good stuff. A tipsy mood is the best mood for games because it's way too much fun and enjoyable. While considering a game, the first thing that comes to your mind is a team. How many members of a group do we need for the game? That's not a problem anymore. Here are 14 games you can play with just two people while drinking. The best thing is, you don't need many props for them either. Two Truths and a Lie This is a great game for new friends, lovers or anyone who doesn't know much about each other. Because this game helps you to get to know about your body and gives you a funny experience at the same time. Also, you don't need any props, cards or anything else for this game. Here's how to play it. One person has to say three facts about himself. Two of them are true and one is a lie. The order of the statement isn't important here. You can mix up truths and lie as you wish. Imagine your friend got the chance to tell two truths and a lie. Since you do not know about him, it'll be hard to guess the truths and the lie. If you guess correctly, your friend must drink. But if you fail to guess it right, you should drink. In each round, you both get to know three things about each other. Let me tell you a tip. You better choose lies quite believable. It'll make it hard for your friend to guess the lie and help you win the game. Number two, higher or lower. This is a very simple fun game for your drinking time. Well, you may need a deck of cards to play this. If you can't find one, just try to use a card deck app on your mobile. First, you can pick one card from the shuffle pack and place it down the way your friend can see it. Then your friend should guess whether the next card is higher or lower than the card placed down earlier. If your friend guessed it right, well, you have to drink and vice versa. Number 3. Never have I ever. This is a quite familiar one, right? However, you might have seen it playing in gatherings of lots of people. Still, it's a fun way to enjoy your drinking time, even just with your drinking buddy. This is a little bit similar to the game Two Truths and a Lie we discussed a while ago. It's more fun and interesting to play with new friends and anyone who needs to know more about themselves. The game starts with you telling something that you have never done. As an example, you can say, never have I ever been arrested. But if your friend has done it, they have to drink. Easy as that. Number 4. Flip Cup You will need alcohol, two plastic cups and a table for this game. For a start, you have to empty the alcohol cup as quickly as possible. Then place the cup upside down near the edge of the table with a small part of the cup over the edge of it. Now you have to flick the cup from the side the cup is hanging over the edge of the table. The goal is to flick the cup to land it on the table on the right side up. Yeah, it's super simple, but try to do it when you're drunk. Number 5. I'm going on a picnic. A drunken picnic? Well, how about arranging picnic stuff in a drunken mood? This is another easy game that anyone can play. All you need is just alcohol. Here, you have to name something that you may carry on a picnic. Just it? No, you have to start the word with A and continue telling stuff you want for a picnic, but in alphabetic format. If you said something starting with A, like almonds, your buddy has to say something starting from B. Try to pass rounds with drinks until Z. It won't be easy as it seems because if any of you forget the next letter, you have to start from the beginning. Number 6. Truth or Dare Drinking games help you get to know people a lot. Truth or Dare is another fun yet serious way to solve your curious things about your drinking buddy. Here you can ask anything you may need to know from your friend. They can either answer it or pass it by accepting the dare to drink a cup. Number 7. Quarters the things you will need for this, alcohol, cups and quarters. It's a little bit a different one, here's how to play it. Fill two cups of alcohol for each person. Bounce a quarter on the table and try to land it into an alcohol cup. If you could do that, your buddy has to drink. But if you couldn't land a quarter into the cup, you have to drink. 
That's why we use two cups for each person. One for drinking, the other one is to try to land the quarter into the cup. Number 8. Power Hour Wanna drink like crazy? Then this is for you. The theory is drinking one cup of alcohol per minute. 60 cups continuously for one hour. Make sure to make the next day available for you to sleep or rest. Don't forget that. Number 9. Speed Facts We suggested many fun games for people who don't know each other well. How about the games you can play with an old friend? In the Speed Facts game, you have to tell true facts about your friend. If you say something false three times, you have to drink. If you need to know how much your friend or partner knows about you, try this out. Our connection. Number 10. Drunk Bullshit You need a deck of cards for this game. Here, you need to place the cards down and try to place them in order like 2s, 3s, 4s, etc. If anyone makes a mistake, it is considered as bullshit and they must drink. Chateau Aubryon, 1959. Magnificent win. Number 11. Mind Melt This is a perfect two-player fun game you must try. Here is how to play it. You need to look at your buddy and count down from 3 to 1. Just after saying 1, you must say a word. Your buddy has to find a common word for that. For example, if you say John Lennon, your friend could say bad. And the word the two have in common is the Beatles. Got it? Number 12. Match We need one dice and two sets of playing cards. First, you need to shuffle the card packs well and keep them with you. Roll the dice and get a number. You should find that number in your card pack. The first one to find the number is the winner and the other one? Yes, you guessed right, the other one should drink. Number 13. TV show drinking game Do you have a TV show that you both love to watch? Then let's play a little relaxing drinking game. All you need for this is a pen, paper, drinks and of course a TV. Write down some quotes that you regularly hear on the TV show. Now prepare your drinks and watch the TV show you love. Whenever a dialogue you wrote on papers pops up on the show, both of you must drink. Number 14. Pinky Mac Drinky Another cool one to play. You need one pink dice and one white dice for this game. Both of you and your buddy should roll the two dice together. If you got the same number, both of you must drink. If you need to drink more, you may consider not matching numbers as drinking chances. Drinking isn't all about getting tipsy. It's way too much fun with games like this. Don't forget to try them out and let us know your experience in the comment section below. Share the video among your drinking buddies and help them find more fun ways to drink. See you soon with another cool one. Visit our blog at bargames101.com for more game ideas. Link on the description below. Until we meet with the next video, have a fun drinking time.